Learn everything you need to know about the stock market with our beginner's guide, gain an understanding of the role that market intermediaries play in ensuring the effective functioning of the stock market. In a market, customers and sellers come together to trade items like fish and vegetables. When trading fish, the place is known as the fish market, and when trading vegetables, the place is known as the vegetable market. Markets might be real-world or digital, such as those on Amazon and Flipkart. The term share market or stock market refers to trading financial instruments like shares. There are various market intermediaries who participate in the stock market, and in this video, we will show how they are supporting Rahul in his foray into the stock market. After realizing the important role investments can play in the life of a person, Rahul is now ready to invest in the stock market. The questions he needs to answer first are how to approach share market and how the process of buying and selling of shares works. Rahul finds out that he cannot approach the major stock exchanges in India directly, he should first approach a stock broker like Goodwill for opening a trading account to start his journey into the stock market. Who is a stock broker? A stock broker is a market intermediary who is responsible for placing the buy and sell order in the market on behalf of the client. A broker is identifiable by a unique ID called member ID provided by the stock exchanges. Rahul has now decided to open a trading account with Goodwill and for that he needs to provide his bank account details along with Aadhaar, PAN and income details. Rahul should remember that the Reserve Bank of India regulates the bank and that the bank is also a market intermediary. The bank account details provided by Rahul while opening the trading account are linked to his trading account. When Rahul opened his trading account with Goodwill, the broker also opened up a demat account, dematerialized account, with the depository. A depository is also a market intermediary that maintains the ownership of financial securities like company shares in electronic form. Through its depository participants, the depository facilitates trading in dematerialized securities. The depository participants are agents registered with the depository. There are two major depositories in India, namely the CDSL, Central Depository Services Limited and the NSDL, National Securities Depository Limited. Rahul's stock broker, Goodwill, is also a depository participant, DP, for CDSL. Now Rahul understood the process of buying shares through a stock broker. First, money is transferred from his linked bank account to his trading account and the purchase of shares happens through his stock broker and from the depository through the DP, the shares are credited to his demat account electronically. If he wants to sell the share in his demat account, then the money equal to the value of the share will be directly credited to his trading account. If he has some shares that give out dividend, those dividends are credited directly to the linked bank account. Still, Rahul is not convinced. He has one more doubt. What if the trades do not go through? Who guarantees his payments? Rahul doesn't need to worry about this because there is another market intermediary called the Clearing Corporation, which guarantees the settlement of all transactions on the stock exchanges through its members, called Clearing Members. The Clearing Corporation acts as the central counterparty for all trades carried out on the stock exchanges. Finally, the Securities and Exchange Board of India, or SEBI, regulates the Indian stock market. SEBI is responsible for drafting and enforcing all regulations. It regulates all market participants, including stock brokers, exchanges, depository, clearing corporation, 
and protects the interests of stock market investors. All of Rahul's doubts about the market intermediaries and processes are cleared, so he is ready to make his first transaction in the stock market.